Hello guys, my name is Kiki and welcome to my channel. I've been a crafter for almost 30 years, yeah, that long. <laughs> but if you want to learn how to decorate your home on a budget while having fun at it, subscribe, hit the like and stay tuned. DIY number one and we're going to recreate this beautiful trays that go from more than a hundred dollars on Pottery Barn and House. They are so beautiful. And for that I got this beautiful tray on a pharmacy over here or a drugstore for $2.99. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate this beautiful tray on wicker, a wicker tray, <laughs> because this one looks plastic and for that I'm using this brown paint. And what I'm doing is I'm just covering it completely with this beautiful brown paint. After I have covered the front, the back, the sides and everything, I'm going to let it dry really well so we can come back and add a glaze to this. And for that I'm going to use black paint like this one and I'm going to use water and I'm going to mix them together a little bit of paint, a lot of water and that will make our glaze for this beautiful tray. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paintbrush and I'm going to add it like this and that will sink on those crevices or those indentations of the tray and will create this beautiful wicker look when it is dry. So I'm going to continue doing this, the same thing on the top, the bottom, the sides, the outside, everywhere to make it look like a wicker tray. I'm going to continue doing this and then I'm going to let it dry really well so you can see how beautiful this one turned out. Here you can see it and for this one I only spent $2.99 because I only bought the tray so I think that I did really well because I didn't spend a hundred and something dollars. <laughs> and this is part of the high end for cheap that I'm hosting with my beautiful friends Johnny and Diane from Deco Easy. And in the description box down below, you're going to find the link to the playlist and also to all of those beautiful and talented creators that are joining this month. Go and check them out and also go and check out Deco Easy because I know you're going to love all of them as much as I do. DIY number two and for this one we're going to recreate this beautiful sign that the cheaper one it's $15 so yeah I think I can do a little bit better than that and I have this sign from Dollar Tree that I painted the back and I have a calendar from Dollar Tree and this beautiful saying just touch my heart <laughs> if you know what i've been going through that one is just perfect <laughs> now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna attach them together or my sign or saying to my sign from dollar tree and for that i'm just using this purple glue and then i use another one because uh, that wasn't enough <laughs> and now i'm gonna grab my calendar page and i'm gonna attach it like that then i'm gonna flip it over and using my tool from the cricut i just made the holes now i'm gonna use my exacto knife from dollar tree and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go all around it just cutting that excess paper like that taking my time not trying not to rip it because if not we're gonna lose our beautiful design so I'm gonna take my time go all around it cut all that excess paper and then that we have it here I'm gonna use this beautiful tool that I have from plaid and I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any bubbles on it I'm gonna go all around it like this so I make sure that I don't have any bubbles over there after that I use my Cricut tool again just to make sure that we have the sides or the holes made and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just sand the sides like this until I have reached the beautiful distressed look on the sides now I'm gonna take this twine that it came with my sign and some beads and I'm gonna make it a beaded handle and for that I'm gonna use three sizes of beads you will find in the description box down below the link to my Amazon front store so you can go and check out all plaid products and also you will find there these beads they are awesome so I'm gonna make a pattern one small one medium one large and again repeat it I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna add my handle and that's it for this beautiful sign quick and easy and super cheap look at that it's so beautiful and I only spent two dollars on the calendar and the sign let me know what you think about this one because I'm in love
If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I would love for you to subscribe and become part of our YouTube family. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know how much I love you. Remember that in the description box down below, you're going to find the links to all of my social media. So you can go and check me out over there and we can be friends and have lots of fun. DIY number three and for this one we're gonna make a beautiful bead clock. This one is $50, yeah, <laughs> and the other one is $40.95. I think I can do better than that. So I got this clock from the thrift store and it costed me $1 because it was like this. <laughs> and now I have another calendar and I'm gonna take this beautiful image from that calendar and I'm gonna use this one to make my clock. I'm going to take one piece of copy paper and I'm going to make my template and for that I put that piece of paper over here and I'm going to go all around my clock just making sure that I have that size. You can get a clock from Walmart and you can do the exact same thing so don't worry if you cannot find a clock on your thrift store. Now I'm just going to cut all around like this making sure that I have a circle like that and then I'm just gonna fold it in a couple of pieces so I can make another circle that it is more circular <laughs> and I took another sheet of paper and I cut it like this and this one is a perfect circle look at that super beautiful and I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna trace it on this poster board and I'm gonna make a piece of poster board just to make it a little bit stronger with the calendar image because that's a little bit flimsy and I just want it to be a little bit stronger. Now I'm gonna cut my cardboard just like this, card, card poster board. <laughs> See, I'm confusing the things today. <laughs> and I'm just gonna mark my center using the triangle that we made. And now I'm just gonna use this one and I'm gonna mark it on my image and I'm gonna start cutting my image like this. Always move the paper, not the scissors. That's the best and the fastest way to cut something. I'm just gonna finish over here and then I'm gonna glue them together like this. But first, let me just mark my center like that and then I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna attach them together using this beautiful purple glue. <laughs> I just love it. It's so cute. <laughs> and I'm gonna attach them together just like this. Make sure that they fit on my clock like that. Let me just cut this excess like this. And after we have it, we're gonna move on to painting our clock. And to paint our clock, I'm gonna use this beautiful gold paint, spray paint, and I'm just gonna go all around it. I don't have to go in the middle like you see here. I just needed those borders to look beautiful. Now let me just paint the hole so I can put this on my clock. And now I'm gonna spray, spray paint <laughs> the handles for that clock. I think that's the name. And I just spray painted them and I'm gonna attach them to my clock like this. And when we finish with that, we have a beautiful clock. Let me show you. Here you can see it. And this one is another one that I just spent $2 on it. And look at that. It is looking so cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to buy me some crafting supplies, you will find this link in the description box down below. You don't have to do that. You can support your favorite creator by watching, sharing, and liking their videos. But if you want to buy me crafting supplies, this link, you will find it in the description box down below and you will get a shout out in my channel. DIY number four or our last DIY. And I'm gonna recreate this beautiful basis. This one is more inspired than recreation. <laughs> and I'm just gonna make something inspired on this a little bit expensive basis. And I'm gonna use this pineapple jar. I'm gonna remove that label using my heat tool like this. I'm gonna remove it completely making sure that everything, the glue and all of it, it's gone. You can use goo gun if you prefer. I just prefer the heat method. I don't know. I like to get burned. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> but I'm just going to remove all of my label like this. When I have finished, I'm going to wash this jar really well to make sure that we don't have any residue of that sticky thingy and now we have the jar over here and I have Mud Podge and this one was a little bit of a fail you will see a little bit later now I'm gonna add my Mud Podge all around and my thought process was that this will make the paint stick but you will see what happened after all of this <laughs> and now I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna add one of this snowman to the top of the jar or the lid of the jar like this 
And I'm going to let that dry, put it aside, and take my jar again. And now I'm going to start painting it, and you will see what happened. White paint, white Waverly chalk paint. And I decided to paint the top part of my jar like this, and go all around it until I have left like an inch and a half in the bottom, or an inch. Yeah, I think it's an inch. Let me just go ahead and paint it like this. And it was going so smoothly. Look at that beautiful coat i know <laughs> but you will see what happens a little bit later <laughs> i'm gonna continue doing this then i give it another coat now i'm just gonna paint the lid on the same white chalk paint like that cover it completely and let them dry really really well let me just finish with this so we can let this dry now when i finish with that i let it dry like two hours give or take and then I came back and I found out that it was cracking. <laughs> but I, even though it was cracking, I got my Mays Waverly chalk paint. I was going to say white. <laughs> my Waverly Mays chalk paint. And I painted the bottom of my jar. And here you can see all of those cracks. So this was like a fail, but not a fail. You will see. Now I'm just going to continue painting that inch and a half or inch on the bottom like that and I'm gonna give it two coats but you can see that yellow maize paint won't cover as beautifully as the white I don't know what's going on with my paint but it never worked like the white one <laughs> now I'm gonna go all around and then I'm gonna let it dry give it another coat and we will have a beautiful jar here you can see it and it is cracked yeah i know <laughs> now i'm gonna take this brown paint and i'm gonna do the speckled look and for that i'm just gonna grab a little bit of paint and an old toothbrush and i'm just gonna go all over like this making sure that i have all of those beautiful speckles all around it i went all around my jar and it made those cracks not look so crackly <laughs> I'm just going all around doing the same to the lid as well to make sure that I have enough paint over there to cover those cracks. <laughs> and here you can see it. And even though it is not the same, I didn't spend any money on this one, but I think it is super cute. Let me know what you think, even though it's a fail. <laughs> now for the fun part, we're going to unbox some BB Craft products and we're going to go for strawberries and this beautiful trim, strawberry trim that you can find on BB Craft. I will leave all of the links in the comments, in this, no, not in the comments, in the description box. <laughs> so you can go and check them out. I also have this beautiful tool that I will be using for something special. Look at that. It is so cute. And it comes in white and in black. And here we have strawberries. Look at those. They look so cute and so delicious. But yeah, they are plastic. <laughs> and also, at the last thing, we have these beautiful stamps that you can see here. They are so beautiful. I cannot wait to work with them. In the description box down below, you're going to find the links to all of these products to BB Craft, and they have a YouTube program. If you have more than 100 subscribers, go and check it out so you can be part of the BB Craft family. We will be working with all of these products on the next weeks because I'm going to make a couple of videos with them. And here you can see all of my DIYs for today together and they look so cute together i just love them remember that this is part of the high end for cheap and in the description box down below you're gonna find the links to everyone that is joining to deco easy and to the playlist so you can go and check out what everyone else created i know you're gonna find lots of beautiful things over there and remember to let me know what you think about all of this and if i did a good job recreating them and that's it for today this is everything i have for you remember to share this video with a friend and hit the thumbs up and subscribe so you can keep an eye out on everything that will, i will be bringing you <laughs> that was a mouthful <laughs> and remember that that's a free way to help this girl out take care my beautiful friends Bye bye